we'd like to dedicate this next song to our little brother, Aaron Carter. Nick Carter started sobbing on stage at London's O2 on Sunday evening following the news that his brother Aaron was found dead in a bathtub at his California home the very day before. The 42-year-old singer performed with the Backstreet Boys as part of their DNA World Tour, but this was less than 24 hours after discovering the tragic news, which led him to become emotional while singing. Nick was unable to finish his lines while singing his verse on their hit song, Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely, before his bandmates came over to hug and support him. Nick was seen with tears in his eyes before they paid tribute to his brother Aaron. Nick also honored his brother on Instagram, saying that although their relationship was complicated, the love never faded between them. The troubled life of Aaron Carter was filled with success, but it was also plagued with addiction and mental illness struggles. Aaron found fame as a child star and singer in the late 1990s. He released his first single at just nine years old, and by the age of 15, he already had four studio albums, had toured across the world, and even starred in multiple TV shows, before falling into a huffing addiction that would last for most of his life. His sister Leslie also suffered from drug addiction, dying of an overdose at just 25 years old. Now in 2012, Leslie's death was a significant break in the relationship between the siblings, particularly Nick, who told the Dr. Phil show in 2013 that his relationship between him and his four siblings had been toxic after Leslie died. He said he felt his family blamed him for her death. He would be alive today. How did it feel to hear them say that to you? Did you believe it at the time? And how I, did it feel? I felt it was unfair. It was unfair, especially with all the things that I have done um, and still to this day continue to do. Aaron then accused Leslie of sexual assault in 2019, saying that she abused him between the ages of 10 and 13, and that the abuse would happen when Leslie failed to take medication for her bipolar disorder. He also accused Nick of abuse, though his legal team has denied the allegations. Aaron also had multiple run-ins with the law related to substance abuse. He was arrested in Texas in 2008 for speeding and was found to have marijuana in his vehicle. Then in 2017, he was arrested again for driving under the influence. Lastly, in 2021, Aaron was arrested for reckless driving. His familial problems continued that year, with Aaron saying that Nick had tried to put him under a conservatorship. I'm alive, I'm well, I'm happy, I'm healthy. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I have a beautiful son who's very healthy too. Um, that is a complete reflection of who Aaron is today. Now, despite overcoming his addiction and facing his troubled past, his neighbors claimed that he was arrogant and would play music extremely loud. Many reported that he was frequently fighting with his on and off girlfriend, Melanie Martin, whom he shared 11-month-old son, Prince. Do you have any, any comments, no, anything that you'd like to say? Thank you. An outpouring of messages from fans, friends and family have come in for Aaron after his tragic passing.